Welcome to another Crown Freight Manager training video. Uh, in this video, we're going to take a look at the CDS Connect system. CDS Connect is a website which we host, which will allow you to send your status messages out for the forwarders to see. So to set it up, we go within your Crown Freight Manager system to File, and then Customers, and then find the customer that you want to set up. And you'll go to the com slash imaging tab and click on the new service icon. Choose EDI service and then you want to choose CFM web. You're going to trigger on status change. Now if you only wanted the PODs and recoveries to go up to the website, you could choose POD slash RCV. Then hit save. Now you want to make note of the account ID because you're going to need this to set up the forwarder on the CDS Connect site. So if you go in your web browser to www.cds-connect.com, it will take you to the sign-in screen. Now one of our reps from Crown Data Systems will set up a username and password for you, and you type that in here. This will take you to your customer admin home. If you go to customer home and then manage accounts, you'll see a list of all the forwarders that are set up here. Set up a new forwarder, click on the new forwarder button. Now this is where you need that account ID that you pulled out of Crown. These two need to match in order for the shipments to send up and link to the forwarder. Type in the account ID and the uh, forwarder name. You have the options here to view charges or view notes. Now generally your notes are only going to go up if you mark them web viewable and your charges will only send up once the jobs are paperwork complete. I'll save the new forwarder and then we have an option to add the login. This login will allow your forwarder to log into the website and view their shipments. So you put in a username for them. Now this username needs to be unique to all of our customers using the CDS Connect system. So if I just put in SIVA here, it's probably in use. So what you can do is put in a prefix and then an underscore in the username to ensure that it'll be unique. Set a password, and then put in an email address for them. You want to make sure that your user type is forwarder, and then hit save. Now the forwarder is going to receive an email with their credentials, allowing them to log into the system. Your forwarder will navigate to the same www.cds-connect.com website and put in their credentials. This will take them to their main shipment screen here and they'll be able to view all of their shipments and their statuses. If you click on search, it will allow them to look back and we'll keep these shipments on file for about 30 days. If you click on a house bill, it will allow you to view the shipment status and the shipment information in here. If your system is set up to send charges once the job has been paperwork complete, the charge breakdown would show here, and any web viewable notes would show in this field. If you have our document imaging product, you can set up the system to send hard copy images to CDS Connect. To do this, you would select your customer in Crown and click on the new icon under the com slash imaging tab. Choose EDI service and then choose CFM Web Imaging. Now this one is going to trigger on nothing. If we save the account, then images would send up to CDS Connect once they're scanned in. Shipments that have images attached to them on CDS Connect will be noted with this camera icon. If you click on the house bill, it will pull up the shipment status information, and then if you click on the camera icon, it will pull the scanned hard copy. If you'd like to enable your customer to enter in inbound alerts from the CDS Connect website, you would again go into the customer account, click on new service, and then choose the option for CFM web alert. Note that their forwarder account also needs to be set up to enable online order entry on CDS Connect. 
To enter an inbound alerts, the forwarder would log into the CDS Connect website with their credentials, and then click on Order Entry and Manage Orders. Here they can enter in a new alert, entering in all the shipment specific information. One important thing to note is that when entering in online orders, the forwarder shouldn't put any special characters into the house bill, master, or reference number fields. Slashes, parentheses, asterisks, and other characters can cause the alerts to be unreadable within the Crown Freight Manager system. When an inbound alert is received, the EDI alerts icon will highlight in red in your Crown Freight Manager system. Here you'll see all the pending alerts, and if you double click on the alert, you'll see the shipment information detail. Clicking on the accept button will enter the alert into your Crown Freight Manager dispatch board. This concludes our training video. If you have any questions about this or any other product, please contact us at 716-651-0977 or email us at crownsupport at crowndatasystems.com.